The other day I got this crazy idea because I like tricking. I like tricking shapes and I like tier lists. So I'm gonna make one about tricking shapes. So yesterday I went out and I did 33 different tricking shapes or I did more but these are the ones that I'm gonna talk about. So we have five different tiers D being the worst and S being the best, like always. The pictures are representations of what I think are the best parts of these shapes. The shapes can be either tricking tricks or variations used in tricking. But without further ado, let's get started with this tricking shapes tier list. The first shape is the tuck position and I think it's a D tier. I don't like it, like it's very boring, like you know, backflip, front flip, all this stuff, not very interesting, it's not the best. Next up we got the icy position and it is something that you can use for corks, for fulls, for beat twists. It's this shape where you have the other leg straight and the other one tucked and it just looks very nice. I think A tier. Then we got the aerial shape and this one is definitely good. I think it's slightly worse than the icy position but A tier, like I really like how it looks. Aerial semi is next, so this is the semi landing position for flipping tricks and I think as a shape, it's quite good, but not like the best. I would put it in B tier. Then next, what about the B kick position? I think it's actually even better than the aerial position. But is it better than the icy position? I think so, yeah. I think it's very nice, very nice to watch. I'll put it at very high A tier. Very nice looking position but not S tier, definitely not S tier, but still like look at the arms and the legs, they are so nice. Next up there is the TD race position and this is also my profile picture and I think it's very nice, like this looks very very good. I would put it in probably there, it's up there in A tier but not high A tier. Then we have the Cobra position and this one I would like to give the S tier. Like this one looks just so good. Like it's amazing. What do you think? Like Cobra position from this angle. I think it looks very very nice. Then we have the D leg V shape and I would put it in B tier, but over the aerial semi position, yeah, like there is a good place for it. It's a very nice position, but you know, like separated legs, but separated legs during a cartwheel, how does it do? I don't know, like I think cartwheel is not that bad, like it's definitely not like super bad. But it's not like good. I think it's like C tier. Our first C tier. Then this race position, this is the eagle position. And the eagle position, oh god, it's like my favorite probably. Like doing it like this. I would put it in S tier, like at the highest position because this is like my favorite position to look at when watching tricking. I think it's very nice, like amazingly good position. The best shape of my life. Oh, what comes next? The sticks shape, meaning the twisting shape. And this one is super boring, but it looks like quite nice. But you know, like twisting it always looks the same. It looks quite elegant because you twist straight, but I don't know, like, is a stick shape that good? I would put it in B tier or C tier. C tier, but higher than the cartwheel, because cartwheel is like not 
maybe here, yeah, B tier, low B tier. Then the crazy X out position. Like, look at the legs and the arms. Most people don't do X out like this, but I happen to do it like this, and I was kind of surprised that it really resembles an X. That's quite nice. So, yeah, I would put it in A tier because, you know, like letter shape, that's so nice. Yeah, here. This is good. Quite low A tier, or mid A tier. And then. We have the Crowd Awakener and oh my god, I like this position so much, but it's so hard to do. I always open up the legs in a bit wrong angle, so yeah, I'll put it in a bit under the X, but still very high, like it's low or mid A tier. So next up we got the Phelan, which is Shuriken Round neither of which we have covered yet but I will give the Feilung A tier but low A tier I think Shuriken and Round alone are usually a bit better than the Feilung and then the Gainer Flash and this one is like super nice like I think Gainer Flash could even be S tier like, it's so pleasant to watch. Probably, like, high A tier. I would rank it over the B kick. Like, high A tier, but not quite S tier. But still, like, very good. And the Frisbee is D tier. Like, is the lowest D tier possible because I just dislike that so much. <laughs> like, it's probably the worst position or worst shape in tricking in my opinion. You take something like an aerial which is very nice and you turn it into garbage basically. So yeah, no frisbees. And gainer switch, like this swing position for gainer switch, I'll give it something like B... Yeah, like I would rank it a bit higher than the aerial semi, like over there. Like, this is very nice position, I like the arch in the back and how the arm and leg, like the opposite arm and leg are up at the same time, like it's nice. Then we have the Gumby, and the Gumby, it will be in very good position. I really like how it looks, but is Gumby better looking than T race? I don't think that it's quite better, it's A tier an A tier shape and it will go there here it wins the aerial in my opinion and then the hyper hook position from a vertical or an inverted trick here we have the moon kick and I also like this quite a lot I think it deserves A tier like here just a little bit over TD race but the hook kick from vertical tricks is quite a lot worse. I like it quite a lot, but not that much. I think it's B tier and maybe here. Then this is like the jackknife split position and this one is actually quite good. Like not as amazing as many other A tier shapes, so I will put it to high B tier. I think it deserves this place. And here we have the pike position, and this can be applied to like front flips, back flips, the pike position. And this one is actually not that good. I think it's like C tier, and I'll put it lower than the cartwheel. I like cartwheel more than the backflip pike, but it's better than the backflip with tuck, definitely. And next up we got the rocket boy and it makes the pike position a bit more interesting and a bit more fun. I like it way more, so I'll put it in the B tier. I think B tier probably over the stick position, over this hook position, over the aerial semi position, 
here. I think it's not as nice as the gainer switch swing position. Alright, so next up we have the round kick. The round kick is actually super nice. This is the round kick from like vertical or not inverted because it's almost impossible to do round kick from inverted position. And yeah, this one I'll rank quite high because I just like it so much. But is it like better than the hook kick? No, not really. But it's still like up here. Like I would put it maybe under the TD race, under the X out, but like here. It's better than the Crowd Awakener. Yeah, it's better because this is way more like, not way more, like a little bit more elegant. Uh, next up, the vertical round kick. And the vertical round kick is quite a lot worse than the horizontal round kick. How bad? I think it's like here. Yeah, I think it's there. And next up we have the scissor position. And the scissor position actually, I don't know if my execution matters here because it doesn't look like super nice. So yeah, I probably just do it badly. But yeah, like it doesn't look that good. The trick itself looks quite good, but like scissor position doesn't look like that amazing actually. I think it looks something like top C tier. And the scoot, I think it's like, oh my god, I don't know, like it's not that good. Like, scoot, is it worse than a backflip? Mm, no, not really, I don't think so. Like, probably lowest seat here. Yeah. Next up, we got the shuriken. And this one I really like so much. Shuriken is just amazing. And especially like this shuriken that is done horizontally. I'll put it up in the 8 here. But how high is the question? And I think this one like... Hmm... Yeah, so I think it's more elegant than the crowd, like crowd awakener. Not ground awakener, crowd awakener. Next up the vertical shuriken. And the vertical shuriken is like not as good, but it's still quite good. Like the position is very nice indeed. And yeah, I will put it like in the high, high beat here, up here. Then we have the stall position and this is the stall backflip or Jesus backflip. And this one looks very nice. I know why Velu chose this for the Legend Trick Gym logo, but yeah, mm, very good, probably A tier even though no opened up legs, but mm, yeah, it's very elegant, very very elegant, it's just a shame the position doesn't last that long. I'll put it like probably here, just randomly in between those. Yeah, it's good there. Then this one, the horizontal swipe position. This one I love so much, like it's super nice. This can be applied to like cork swipes, side swipes, full swipes, every single swipe that is done in a horizontal trick. And this one is gonna go high, in high A tier. But how high? Because how high can I put it? Here, hmm, I think I'll put it here, just under the icy position, or below the icy position, yeah. Then we have the vertical swipe, and this one actually makes a quite interesting shape, just where the picture is taken. I still don't like it like super super much compared to like those, so I'll put it in high beat here. Next up, we got the Terada grab position. And the Terada grab is just so nice. Like, I love it so much. But does it deserve S tier? Because I'm not quite sure. Almost at least. I had to put it 
bit lower than S tier because like those two positions are just so good. Hmm, where to put it? I think I'll put it up here. And this is the tier list. This is how the final version looks like if I don't want to change anything. And I will look at it a little bit. Yeah, I think I'm happy with it. And this was my first ever tier list. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, leave a like, subscribe. I'll see you in the next video.